Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. You probably know that a while ago, Adobe added a sky replacement tool to Photoshop. At that time, they added another tool that got little mention. That is a sky selection tool. If you have an image that has a nice sky in it, you don't want to replace it. But you need to process that sky and you don't want to process anything else in the image. That's where the sky selection tool really comes in handy. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use it. I mentioned you may have an image. You don't need to replace the sky. You just need to process the existing sky. That's when you would use this tool. Now I have this image here. The sky's a little bit washed out. So I need to do some work on that sky all by itself. Now to start out, I'm going to duplicate the background layer by hitting Command J on my Mac. It's Control J on a PC. So we're going to do all our work on this layer right here. Now we're going to go and select the sky. We're going to go up to select and down to sky. And Photoshop will find the sky and select it. You can see the marching ants going around the sky and in through the tree. Now I want to do adjustments to just that part that is selected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask it. I'm going to add a mask to this so only the sky will be affected. So I'm going to go down here to the lower right and click on the little mask icon. Now you can see it added a mask. It's not really showing the mask, but if I click down here and then click, there you can see. So the sky is masked in, the rest of the image is masked out. Now I want to adjust just that sky. I'm clicked on the mask though, so make sure you're clicked right on the layer, the part of the layer that is the actual image, because we're doing our adjustments to it, not to the mask. Now there's all different ways you could do this. I'm going to use adjustment layers because with adjustment layers, I could go back and readjust those very easily. So I'm clicked on the part of the layer that is the actual image. I'm going to get a brightness contrast adjustment layer. Now, if I just come in here and start moving the sliders, it's going to affect everything. So what I need to do is I got to clip it to the layer directly below it. And to do that, just click on this little icon right here. And then when I move this, You'll see it's only affecting the sky. So I could just come in and darken that sky a little bit. Maybe just add a bit of contrast like that. And then maybe I'll add one more adjustment layer. I'll add a hue saturation adjustment layer. Now again, if I just come in and start moving things, it's going to affect everything. I need to clip it to the layer below it. Now the layer below it is an adjustment layer. So what the clipping does, it actually just clips it to the, to the first active pixel layer that's below it, and that's this layer here. And then I could come in and add saturation to that sky, and you can see how it's only affecting the sky. So really cool, the sky selection feature really helps you um, adjust an image when you, you like the sky already and you don't want to replace it. Let's do something that looks kind of ridiculously impossible. I want to adjust the sky behind that statue. I'm going to duplicate the layer hitting Command J, it's Control J on a PC. Now. Again, I need to get that selection, so I'm going to go up to Select, down to Sky. Now you could select Object too, but the video is about selecting a sky, so we're doing that. Now as I look at it, uh, just double check your selection. You can see how it selected part of the statue. I don't want it to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the Quick Selection tool. You can hit the W key on your keyboard, and when you do that, you'll get one of these three tools, Object, Quick, or Magic Wand. Make sure you're using the Quick Selection tool. And by default, it's going to add to the selection. We need to remove the selection from the statue. So I'm going to hold in the Option key on my Mac. It's Alt key on a PC. And just brush wherever those marching ants shouldn't be, which is on that face of the statue. And just double check I got them all. It looks pretty good. All right, so we have the sky selected. Now again, um, I need to mask it. So I'm going to get a mask. Click on that mask. Now by default, when you do that, it will be clicked on the mask. Just make sure that you're clicked then on the actual pixel layer, pixel part of that layer, which is right there. Then um, again, I'm going to get a brightness contrast layer. Again, I'm going to clip that to the layer below it by clicking there. And I'm going to pull brightness down. Oh no, oh my gosh, clouds are appearing. 
And you can see it's not affecting the statue. It's just affecting the clouds. I'll add maybe a little contrast. Then uh, what else? Let's try levels. Sometimes levels could tease out even more. Oops, affecting everything. I forgot to clip it, right? So we'll click right there and clip it. So it's affecting just that sky. Like that. And, you know, I'd say that's done. So there is before and there's after. There's clouds up there we didn't even know were there. Let's do one more just for fun. I have a similar image to that first image. And actually, this isn't a bad image, but let's just say I want to add more drama to that sky. So I'm going to duplicate the background layer by hitting Command-J. So again, Control-J on a PC. We're going to go up to Select and down to Sky. Selected the sky. Just double check it. Looks pretty good. Didn't select the bird, so we're all set. We're going to do, uh, maybe we'll do that brightness contrast. I'll let, oh no, we got to do that mask, right? So we'll click on that little mask icon. Then do the brightness contrast adjustment layer. Make sure we clip it. And let's add some contrast to that sky. See how it's just affecting the sky, nothing else. We'll add some contrast. So that's how you could select a sky in an image so that you could do adjustments only to that sky and nothing else. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>